Hello everyone and welcome to this vectoring tutorial. In this video, we will be using the ribbon tool. I'll be showing you how to use the ribbon tool and we're going to create the Flash logo from the DC superhero, The Flash. So to get started, head over to vectorinc.io and launch the app online in any browser or go to the Google Play Store, download the Vector Inc app and start a new project. And once you're in the canvas, you're going to activate the pen tool. And we're going to use the pen tool to draw like the lightning bolt right here on the center of the canvas. I want to zoom out a little bit. If you're using a laptop on the uh, web app, you can use the option key and the mouse wheel to zoom in or out or use the alt key if you're on Windows and the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. So with the pen tool selected, we're going to draw this flash lightning bolt. So I'm going to start at the top of the canvas here. I'm going to just apply a point, right? Click to apply a point. And then we're going to bring it down 45 degrees, and it'll snap at 45 degrees for you. Okay, so just bring it down till about right there. Okay, and then apply the point. Then you're going to come over straight it'll snap when it's um, straight and you're going to apply the point a little shorter than the first one so about right here about halfway okay then come back and down another 45 degrees a little further apply the point come over straight again line up with the f with the second one here doesn't have to be perfect all right apply the point and come down 45 degrees one more time it's about right there apply the point okay and then we're going to activate the selection tool so you should have something like this here now for the ribbon tool so with this shape selected we're going to activate the ribbon tool now what the ribbon tool allows you to do is create shapes from the strokes of other shapes so it kind of allows you to expand the strokes a little bit so to demonstrate, we're going to go ahead and select this corner here, this corner one, and pull it out to about right there. Okay, let's see we have a new shape here. I'm going to grab this corner tool here, or this corner piece here, and I'm going to pull this one out. I'm going to grab this corner piece and pull this one out. Then same with this one here. As you see, we have our lightning bolt. Let's go ahead and activate the selection tool. All right, now let's set our color. All right, we're gonna go into the color panel and open up the color palettes and scroll down till you see this array of yellows and oranges. It's near the top. I'm gonna select that and click off to close it. Okay, now select the new shape and select the yellow color okay and then we're going to move this shape to the back behind the original line it was formed from now what we want to do is use this line to help cut out uh sort of like a 3d effect right to give it some of a, some sort of 3d effect so to do that let's activate the line tool double tap on the rectangle tool and select the line tool all right and he's going to draw a line from this corner to this corner all right then another one from this corner to this corner this corner to this corner this corner to this corner so do your best doesn't have to be perfect something like that okay now we're going to highlight everything activate the path builder tool we're going to select the darker yellow so we're going to work with the darker yellow and the lighter orange okay so we'll select the darker yellow and cut out this portion here 
this portion here, this portion here, and this one here, and lastly this one here. And we're going to select the lighter orange and we're going to apply it here and here. Okay, now we're going to open the Path Builder Tool Properties and we're going to do Replace None. And now activate the Selection Tool. And then bring everything that is highlighted to the front. Okay, now let's get rid of these lines. So select that line, delete it, delete delete, delete, and select the, I can't get to it, so let's open up the layers, expand the layers, and boom, there it is, and delete. All right, so cool, we have our lightning bolt. I'm gonna highlight this and scale it down. Um, if you tap on this top right handle, it'll turn to one handle and it allows you to scale um, on the X and Y axis together. Now we're going to add the circle around here. So let's double tap on the line tool, activate the circle tool. Okay, we're going to select constrain so that it constrains the um, the X and Y axis of the circle that way it scales evenly. Let's bring it down about right there. Or there. Okay. Open up the fill color panel and we're going to make that circle white. Okay. We're going to open up the stroke panel and we're going to make the circle's stroke, the outline, this orange. So the, the second orange from the end. And then we're going to open up the stroke properties and we're going to set the stroke width to about oh, 016. Okay. Now with the circle selected, we're going to move it to the back. Now let's open up the document panel and we're going to set the background color to the orange, the darker orange. Okay. Use this color for the circle stroke, the uh, the orange in the middle. I think that looks better. And we're done. That's that's it. So that's how you can use the ribbon tool along with the path builder tool to add some effect to create the flash logo. So that is it. I hope you've learned something in this tutorial about Vector Inc. Thank you for following along and good. Bye.